go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going into the third quest of Act 9. That's Act 9.1.3. No stone unturned, okay? And I'm going to show you the path that I consider the easy path, but you need to check each path based on your own roster, okay? So this is the path I'm going. It's with um, Luke Cage, starting with Luke Cage. You got Go for the Throat, Natural Armor, Calcify, Prey on the Weak. Um, there's Blood in the Water. You can ignore most of those, okay? The first two are the ones that are the most important. Now, the first one tells you that a skill champion can put armor breaks when they have a striker, okay? You need to apply armor breaks to do good damage. You can do it without armor breaks. I think they reduce 75% of the damage, so it's gonna be a very long fight if you do not bring in someone that can armor break in some way, shape, or form. Now, I like to play the nodes. They give skill champions an advantage, you know, equip a striker, and you can use any skill champion that you want. You fire that striker off, you get your armor breaks, you go to town. That's pretty much it. Now, if you do not have any skill champions that you happen to want to bring, bring someone who does a lot of uh, armor breaks. Now, I have not tried it, but Cosmic Ghost Rider, you may want to give it a try. There's nothing that will hurt you by going in here, bringing him in, seeing how he does on the first uh, fight. And if he doesn't do well in the first fight, back out, pick somebody else. Okay? So... I brought in, uh, as you can see, Elsa against um, Luke Cage here, okay? Now, I am running Recoil, Double Edge, and Liquid Courage. The Blood in the Water, if I remember correctly, uh, on this node says that as long as I have a debuff on me, uh, they will be, I believe, getting... What is it? Getting a Fury or um, Power Gain? I forget. Um, and that's because I ignored it. Didn't matter. Um, you can see she's just ripping them apart. Look at this. Just look at this. You know, for those of you who thought I was crazy to rank 3 my Elsa Bloodstone, what you think now? She is just ripping. Ripping through this guy. Look at, look at the damage. Look at that. Ugh. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I did boost up. I recommend that you boost up because Act 9, their health pools are significantly larger than Act 8. So if you've already done Act 8 and you jump into Act 9, it's going to be a little bit of a shock. And I heard a lot of people complaining about how long the fights were taking. But if you play the nodes, you can shorten the time. Now, of course, that's a rank three, seven star Elsa. So that's, of course, going to uh, do well regardless. But say you don't have rank three, seven star skill champions. All right. Yeah, I got caught there. It happens. Um, your six stars. You want to rank them up as high as you can, and they can do it. The fights will take a little bit longer, but boosting 
will definitely help considerably. I don't know if I would have enjoyed going through this without boosting, running my recoils, because those made the fights much shorter. I watched other people. Don't ask me why, I just keep getting smacked up. But I watched some people running this, and yeah, their fights were taking a long time. Sometimes um, their fights took well over two minutes. And I was like, ugh, I am not gonna enjoy this. But I hadn't done it yet. So I couldn't really tell them anything. I couldn't give them any um, advice or anything like that because I hadn't really tried it myself. So this is actually my first time going through uh, Act 9. This is my first time. And let's see, how long did this one take? Because this one took a little bit longer than uh, some of the other ones. So how long? Okay, one minute, 25 seconds. Still not the long two minute, three minute fights that I saw uh, some people having to deal with. And I was like, oh no, I do not want to do a mini Necropolis or, or Abyss of Legends <clears throat> uh, for just the uh, Act 9. But uh, so far, that didn't happen. All right, so now we got my hit monkey coming in. You know, Elsa did her thing. She did it. All right. So now hit monkey. As you can see, even without an armor break, I'm still doing damage. Okay. But I'm doing, what is it, 75% less than I would with an armor break. So at this point, I just wanted to bait that out. And now I got to get an armor break. So boom, boom, boom. Striker. There we go. Look at the damage now. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Hit him with that special. And look, look, look at this. Look at the health just melting away. I really don't like the uh, special uh, two, mainly because I haven't really practiced uh, um, <clears throat> doing this uh, properly, uh, evading it properly. Now, there is something that I neglected to mention. The armor break can be renewed, and I believe it is um, with a heavy attack. I forgot about that while I was fighting, and I forgot to mention it. It's one of the nodes. Go back and read the node. Um, yeah, see, this one here will catch me good, so I end up taking block damage, and it's not fun. Yep, it's a heavy attack. So you fire your striker off, get the armor breaks, make sure you do a heavy attack to refresh the armor break. And if you keep refreshing it, you'll never have to throw your striker again if you don't want to. So you can hold the striker back for when the AI decides to act crazy and doesn't want to throw their specials or something like that. And they get all passive on you, hiding in the corner, crouching and blocking and it runs out. Then you can fire your uh, striker, get your armor breaks back, wash, rinse, and repeat. All right? So now I, I decided to bring in Bullseye. Now, when I first um, went for Bullseye, and I was so happy to get him, I didn't know that he was pretty decent on attack as well. You usually see him you know, placed on defense. And of course, that's where you usually want him. He is a very annoying defender. In Battlegrounds, oh yeah. But look at this, man. Just look at this. He is chewing him up and it doesn't matter. Now see what he's doing? He waited it out, okay? I should have fired a heavy attack, but again, I forgot. And sometimes the AI doesn't like to act right. I brought Bullseye in because I hate fighting um, Mr. Stretchy here, okay, Reed Richards, because he evades, and I hate those evades. And it always annoys me. I'll have him in the corner, and I'm just wrecking him, wrecking him, and suddenly he'll evade and then just wreck me. It reminds me of uh, Labyrinth of Legends, 
which I try to avoid going back to because, oh, that evade. That evade gave me PTSD, let me tell you. But anyway, just look at this. We're, we're, we're wrecking, and I'm not probably using him the best I can, um, so this fight is taking a long time. Uh, I don't use Bullseye that often on attack, okay? Now, you saw I did a heavy attack right there, and it refreshed the armor break, okay? But I tended to forget, and I'll just be fighting, and I'm like, yeah, let's just go, let's just go. Now, I want Bullseye awakened because when he's awakened, when I knock him down or they get knocked down, there's a chance that I can remove one or two of my debuffs. So since I run the recoil, double edge, liquid courage and all that, the bleed from double edge will go. But the poison is going to remain. And once he's awakened, I'll be able to fire off some heavy attacks to try and get that uh, poison away. So that is a very, very nice thing for me particularly. If you don't run them, his awakened ability is not really all that. Now we got Chilith, and I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Say Chilith or Chilith? I'm not sure. Um, but I actually like her. She is really, really nice. Um, I believe uh, in here, because uh, it's been a little bit, I took her to rank two, and I believe she's ranked two here. And what you want to do with Chilith, just generally, is you want to punish their heavy with your heavy. And her heavy is far, I mean, it, it's got some distance, okay? And it's perfect for this because every time I fire the heavy off, I'm going to refresh the um, armor break. Okay? Don't ask me why I did that. I think I tried to ev evade or something like that. And then I do the heavy once the armor break was already up. Not doing well. Get smacked up by his, hev his uh, special attack. Yeah. I'm not playing this too well. Okay? Let's just say that. But, look at you. She handled those like a beast okay and i'm still learning her okay and just look at this now here okay good i did do the heavy attack because i was gonna say i should have done the heavy attack there um but i'm still getting used to her she could have wrecked this uh if i had to go back in now that i've actually played with chilith a little bit i would do so much better uh, on this path with this um, in this fight. So if you have Chila, I recommend her for this path. She does extremely well. Um, especially since you normally want to do heavy attacks with her. It's perfect. Okay. So we're just going through. Now, again, the thing that is a pain with certain champions like Spider-Ham is that evade. And so I brought a uh, bullseye because he can't miss. And once I fire my special one, I get a, a true strike buff up so that I can't miss. So see the true strike up there? Little blue icon up there. Looks like a little bullseye or the targeting um, on a scope or something like that in the game. Yeah. So now I can't miss. Okay. So basically, I'm basically trying to get the um, heavy attacks weaved in. And then, oh yeah, the uh, the porker poppers, I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, so the porker poppers were eating me up. So you want to watch for that with him. But other than that, you know, see I have that power sting on me right now. And so... I'm just getting hit with these poppers. And see, that was an early release because every time I lost health, I was like, whoa, 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 what just happened? What happened? Okay, so you can see I'm doing a little bit better at 
doing the heavy attack. See that evade fail? He could have easily wrecked me there. All right, there, we got a perfect release. Um, but look at that, another heavy. Keep that uh, armor break up. Although I do have the um, spirit power to uh, fire that off. So, you know, in case it doesn't um, stay up. Yeah, see, look at that. My health is just getting chewed up because I'm just ignoring all those porker poppers on me. So all the, I mean, the uh, power stings, just, just, yeah. And I don't remember if I got taken out by them. But I was just trying to go, you know, these fights are not very fast. And that could be because I'm not playing bullseye properly. Okay. And you see, I started doing heavy attacks. <laughs> I was doing heavy attacks because I didn't want to fire the, the special off because it might have taken me out. You know, so he's annoying. Um, you'll notice that I also brought in Mole Man. Mole Man can do that fight very well. Okay. Um, and you'll see that he has full health. So I had him there kind of as my backup. I need to rank him up. But we got through without needing um, any revives. All right. So uh, the boss that I went up against is Overseer. Overseer, I don't have a problem fighting Overseer, but I know some people do. He has an auto block after his specials, which can be annoying. Uh, you can fire specials when he has his auto block up. He doesn't auto block his special. Um, there was a bug at one time where he was um, doing that. He was auto blocking specials and, and we were like, wait, what? He was way harder than he should have been. Okay. Um, and then uh, you can hit him once before the auto block hits. It's on your second hit that the auto block will trigger. So basically you can hit him once, back off, and just wait that auto block out, okay? So you see, I was thinking about bringing in Hercules. I really did, I thought about it. And then I was like, you know what? People, people tired of Hercules, and I do love my Hercules, but Let's go with somebody else. Let's go with Hulk. So you can see here, all right, five critical hits, but that's for a skill attacker, insult to injury, debuff. Now, Hulk is poison immune, so I only have to worry about the bleed. You got the red lining, so you have to kind of manage your power. Other than that, you just need to know how to fight Overseer, and I gave you some tips already, and let's see how it goes. All right, now my Hulk, not awakened, but he is rank three. Okay, so here we go. Come on, Hulk, yeah, buddy. Oh, and by the way, the stagger, all that is is free willpower healing. All right, so now. The auto block is up. So you see how I hit him once? And I'm just waiting it out. You can't parry him, um, so don't bother. All right, so I waited that out. Here we go. Look at Hulk's health. He's just getting that free uh, willpower healing. All right, see, I hit him one time, and that was it. Okay, we're waiting it out. Now it's down. And I messed up there. Did you see what happened? That's that red lining. I didn't get a chance to fire my special because I went too much and got power drain. But as you can see, I'm still doing some good damage. Okay, there's the auto block. Just got to wait that out a little bit. And again, health is looking good. All right, here we go. This time, I went ahead and fired my special off so that... I wouldn't lose it. All right, and here we go. Yeah, huh? That was really dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous. That's right, Hulk is dangerous. But look at this. 
Overseer is at 49% health. All right. Come on. There we go. Look at that damage. Bam. Hit him with it. Oh, and now he's stunned. Oh, yeah. Oh, about to do this. But I could see it was getting ready to go out. And I knew what would happen. If I tried to do that, I don't think I would have been able to. Maybe I would have. But that's the time when you want to go in. All right. But I decided to play it safe. Um, but I could have tried the special one spam right there. But it could have also been lights out for me. All right. But look at this. Boom. Back to a full yellow bar of health. Okay. And then now, I'm like, yeah, we're, we're close. We're close. He's at 10%. 10% health. Can we do this? Okay, bait that out. Still playing it safe. All right. Come on, come on. We got this. We're just playing with him at this point. Boom! I was trying to take him out with that, but it didn't. But that's all right. Come on, there you go. Bam! Knockout. Can't get much easier than that. Like I said, most of those nodes, you don't even have to worry about. The red lining, if you want to save your specials, that kind of thing. Other than that, you just have to know how to fight uh, Overseer. Okay? So that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord the King Crown